Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. It is I, your boy DJ Noise. Hit Squad DJs TV, I got another one for you today. Today we got this bad boy. Uh, it is the Harbinger uh, MUS, or is it? No, it's the MLS 1000. It's the, uh, yeah, it's uh, one of those tower column arrays. Or it's just a column array. Yeah, let's check it out. All right, so let's unbox this bad boy. Get my trusty knife. Let's see what we got. Let's start with the, uh, with what is obviously the subwoofer portion of it. Let's see what we got here. Wow. So, it comes with the bag. That's already a win. It's a bag. Nothing else in the box. Let's put this stuff away. Now, truth be told, this actually belongs to a, a local DJ, Jam Easy, aka Cadillac James. Uh, he's already unboxed it, so I'm just going through the motions, right? Uh, you got your IEC cord, and look at this, man. It's got its own uh, cover. That's a win right there. <clears throat> now, I use the uh, Maui 5 Go by LD Systems. Um, wow. This thing's nice. And I believe Harbin Harbinger is the uh, in-house brand for Guitar Center. Uh, don't roast me in the comments is, if I'm wrong, but um, yeah, okay. Let's, uh, let's open up the Uh, the column. That's what we got here. The simplicity of these uh, of these systems is what's attracting. You know, that's what that's the most attractive part of it, right? in here nope nothing else in that box let's get rid of that as you can see it comes with its own bag nice now with the uh, Maui system that I own you had to buy the bag separately so let's see if we can't put the system together let me see now this is my first time seeing this. You know how I like to do things with you guys. All right, this way. Oh, you know what? I think that's the top. No, oh, this is the top. Okay. Got to figure this out. Once again, we're doing this together. This is the first time for me. Let's see. Oh, we go. So, 
on this particular system you don't set it down you have to you have to put it in you have to slip it in so and there you go and there it is let's see if i can get you guys a better view Oh yeah, it's a tall one too. Let me see if I can move the camera back a little bit. There it is. Now I'm gonna go stand next to it. Yeah, so I'm five six. So we're looking at maybe six, 6-2 maybe? Um, let me go get the other. Okay. In real time. So this is the Maui system. Take the cover off. Set it right next to it. Now, what I will say about the Maui system is that it is a lot, a lot easier to set up. It's a lot quicker. Let's see. You just kind of have to know what the sequence is. They're around the same size. So that's compared to the Maui. Now the Maui's got an eight inch subwoofer. It's got an eight inch sub and this has a 10 inch sub. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get a closer look at this. Okay, so this is the Harbinger. MLS 1000 and um, it's actually a really nicely built unit um, it's all like a polymer plastic now the top is where all the drivers are at um, and it's got six two and three quarter inch drivers and they're set up like in a zigzag uh, position so Basically, one's facing this one and one's going like this. So like it's, it's going like this, right? But as they, as they face out. Um, and this seems to be the uh, kind of like the extender, like the height extender. And we will uh, we'll try it out right now with music to see if you can just use just the, just the speakers on the sub. Uh, let's turn around. Let's turn it around and see what the... What the mixer looks like in the rear all right let's get a closer look at the rear of the unit now this thing has four inputs two of them being a combo uh xlr and quarter inch one being a three in the three and a half inch uh no i'm sorry the 3.5 millimeter um auxiliary input and also a guitar and line input input combo and then it's got like this real interesting it's got voicing um, so you have standard live band dance music and speech and as you can see here's uh the the connections in the back and it has what's called a i think it, they call it smart link so you run an xlr out of this and into a second MLS 1000 and then that creates a, uh, a stereo signal automatically. So you would uh, run your your system or you can just run uh, out of your left into one and out of your right into the other, which is what I would do. 
but this is this is it it's got a lot of functionality look at this you got your treble and your bass on each of your channels channels one and two have reverb and channel two has reverb and chorus now a lot of you guys who are uh, in small bands or even solo acts who play guitar or piano or or what have you you can use one of these and i think it i think it would rock it's a uh, 350 watts and a thousand watts peak peak and i believe it goes down to about 45 hertz on the 10 inch subwoofer okay everyone just a quick fyi i'm going to start it off at around nine o'clock and then i'm going to turn it up to about 12 o'clock and then on the unit itself on the unit itself I'm going into channel one of the unit and everything is set at 12 o'clock. So treble, bass, and gain is at 12 o'clock and it is set on the voicing is set on standard. It's not on the uh, dance music. It's set on standard. Anyway, let's check it out. Okay. So it's set up and ready to go. Um... I will be playing a track that's uh, produced by Frito Beats, um, and it is something that I won't get struck by uh, Facebook. They're not going to take it down, I hope. So I, I, with this extent, you need the extension in order to run the speaker. You cannot run it just with the top and the bottom. Um, I tried that earlier, and, and it just didn't work. That's something that you can do with the other system that I own. Uh, now I'm not going to do a, I mean, I will do a compare video, but not today. Uh, well, this won't be that video. It'll probably be the next video that we can do a comparison video of the two systems. Now this system is not a battery powered system. So let's get that, uh, out there. It's not a battery powered system. You do have to plug this into the wall. Let's see what it sounds like. Actually, it sounds really, really good. Look, it sounds really, really good. There are some vibrations. It's part of the cabinet. It's uh, it's something you can live with, but it sounds really good. Now, this particular song has a lot of that 808 low end bass, uh, but I think I think it sounds really, really good, man. Now, the street price on this is $6.99. So about 700 bucks, you can walk out with a nice setup. And truth be told, you could probably use this, uh, use a couple of them for 75 to 100 people, and you'd be all right. They sound really, really good. There's a lot of you out there who are trying to put together a micro system, and I think this is a pretty good solution. And for the price, it's not bad. You get yourself... Your, a, a nice controller get yourself a couple of these a table and a gig bar and you're set up and running you're ready to go you i mean let's do let's do the math here 1400 bucks for a pair of these get yourself uh let's say a rev one by pioneer what's that 275 bucks right so you're at so you're at 1675 and you get yourself a gig bar for about five 500 bucks Dude, you're, you're, you're up and running. Get yourself a $40 Costco folding table and a skirt and your laptop. Man, you're ready to roll. It's, it's, it is. It's a pretty nice system. Okay, 
let's lay out the pros and cons. Um, pros, I mean, 700 bucks, 350 watts, 1,000 watts peak. I believe it goes down to 45 hertz. Uh, you've got a lot of uh, a lot of inputs in the back. It's Bluetooth. Uh, it's very portable. It comes with bags. It sounds really, really good. Uh, this is a really small room, so I'm not gonna lie to you. Everything sounds good in here. This would have to be taken out into a bigger room, but and I believe these things. Uh, I think it, they project 180 degrees uh, on the uh, the projection on these. It's about 180 degrees, which is really, really good, right? This is a really nice setup. 700 bucks. I like it. Uh, the cons on it. I mean, I don't like the fact that when you put, when, when you set it up, you have to slide the, the attachments in. So instead of just putting it on top and connecting, you actually have to slide it in. So, so see, I have to slide it in. See, I'm, I'm having a hard time. Look, look at that. There you go. This one slides in this one, this way, this one slides in this way. Uh, another con is you have to use the extender. You cannot just use the top directly onto the sub, which is something you can do with the LD systems. Um, another con is slight vibrations. You can, you can hear the cabinet a little bit, but that's not a big deal. I think when you're out in a, uh, an, an event center somewhere at a venue uh, with the projection of it, you're not gonna hear that. They're, the guests aren't gonna hear that, but sound quality is pretty good. I know you cannot really decipher the sound quality because I'm using my iPhone to uh, to take these uh, take these videos. Now, as soon as we get more uh, subscribers and we got some cash coming in, I'll get you guys a better camera, better microphone system, what have you. But uh, yeah, I mean, cons are very few, right? And I don't know if I mentioned that we're doing the, uh, that, that they come with the bags. That's a plus. I like it. I like it. Oh, and it's a 10 inch sub. It's a 10 inch sub. Sounds really good. Yeah. And that is my overview of the Harbinger MLS 1000. It's a solid unit. I think, uh, the pros outweigh the cons. If, uh, you're an established DJ or, or even a, a new DJ or musician. It's a very versatile unit. I think it's, 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 it's good. It's built well. Um, it's, uh, I think it's a solid unit. Um, now, I will be doing a comparison video hopefully soon of between this and the Maui 5 Go. Uh, we're going to do that video in a larger room though. This is a rather small room. Uh, but we're gonna make that happen. Just let me know what you think in the comment section below if you have any questions Let let us know. We'll try to answer them as quickly as possible. A lot of times. I don't answer the questions on, um, on On this channel I use my my other account which is just noise and OIZ and that's those are that's me answering your questions in the comment section uh, You might have uh, one of the other fellas like DJ Clint or or somebody else um, DJ switch somebody use, uh, doing the uh, answering questions as well um, but uh, if you guys can help us out by liking and sharing this video or even commenting and and you don't even have to like them you can dislike it if you like that that's okay just like dislike leave a comment let us know what you think and if you guys have any ideas and we can execute them just let me know now there is something coming up here in the near future. It's something that we call, that we're going to call the DJ Corner. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be going to different DJs, um, their homes, right? And we're going to be walking into their, we're going to be checking out their workspaces, kind of like my space in here, even though it's a mess. Um, and we're going to be talking to those DJs, and then we're going to be checking out their practice areas and, and what their home setups are like. So that's something that's coming in the near future. Uh, kind of keeping out for that. That's called the DJ Corner. Anyway, that's it for me. My name is DJ Noise, Hit Squad DJs. Thank you guys for tuning in. We'll see you guys later. Peace.